Morning guys. Morning YouTube people. We got uh this morning. I basically already did all of it. I'm just doing the setup and everything. Um ended up buying me another H and S tuner. Watching some demolition ranch. A lot of axles. Guess I got a new trailer. Anyway, uh yeah, so we got 64% so far. <coughs> That's where it's going to be. I'm going to trim this down here so it doesn't look so tacky. Um, I did glue a magnet on there. I'm not doing up here. So, tell you how I got this. So, a guy on OfferUp was selling this and all the harness, HDMI, everything. He wanted... 400 bucks just for that and the wiring harness for that and the HDMI cable and uh, I asked him if it was married or VIN locked and he said yes it is VIN locked and so I looked it up first first site I went to it said it was going to be like 200 bucks to unlock it so I told him that it was going to be like 200 bucks to unlock it so then he looked it up and he says, well, I've seen it go for like 140 bucks. I was like, okay, cool. Send me that site then. So I said, you know, what's the least you'll take? So he said 200 bucks. So I got it for 200 bucks and I got this. Um, this is just, uh, he said it was remote start, but um, I'm pretty sure it's not remote start. So you got the uh, pyrometer one, pyrometer two. A N one two three, and then five volt out. Um, anyway, uh, my old truck had one of these, but it wasn't a bully dog. And this is for the pyrometer. So you plug that in. You plug the pyrometer, which is your EGT temperature probe. You plug that in, and uh, you plug this into it, and this gets power. Um, can't really remember how all that works, but I'll save that until, um, yeah, until I figure all that out. If I'm going to get a probe or not, right now I'm just going to run it. So we're still at 78%. So I did all the wiring, so I ran it. There's, on these Laramies, there's a hole under here. So I ran the wire up. And ran the wire up and then somewhere in here somewhere in there and then this previous owner's got this hokey this big old wiring cable goes in here I mean this that is so ghetto right there so it goes in along the steering <laughs> goes in whatever and it is this I think it's this thing right here <laughs> get it out um it's this i don't know what it's for i don't know i mean i know it's a power outlet power supply but i don't know i don't know what he used it for maybe a light because he was kind of a he was a a rancher i guess you can call it ranch hand um but yeah so I ran, he ended up having the wires going in, uh, whatever, through the fire firewall. So I just ran the, that little wire, the power wire, to the firewall. And then uh, put some silicone around it. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, to get it VIN unlocked, VIN unlocked, I ended up going to uh, eBay. I actually Googled it again, did some more research, a couple guys on some Cummins forms and Dodge forms. They're like, oh, I did a, I had this one guy, I called this guy, I called this guy, there's a bunch of different people. And uh, yeah, I remembered I had eBay bucks and I saw a link for an eBay, uh, an item. It said, VIN, VIN unlocked, trans unlocked, you can pay for all these unlock codes. So uh, you basically send him the code in there when you power it on 
um, you go to system settings or whatever settings and then you hold this bottom button down for like 10-15 seconds and then it'll come up with the code you email the dude the code uh, and in my case I went through eBay so in the uh, optional comments to seller I just put that code in you give them the, the truck that it was married to and all that information will be in the tuner um, but yeah so for 30 bucks 30 bucks got it uh, then unlocked on eBay um, I purchased the unlock yesterday like last night at like 8 o'clock at night and by this morning at like 5 or 6 o'clock this morning he responded with what year or what what make and year was the truck that it was married to and uh, I told him it was a 09 uh, Ram 2500 and then the next message like two minutes later he sent me a code and I put the code in and everything worked so it's doing something turn key wait it's done doing its thing whatever it's doing okay so turn the key to the off position press continue And in this tuner, you can get rid of the door chime and all that stuff. So. Oh, don't start it. Dang it. I messed up. I can't do this. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's clearing codes, I guess. Hope I didn't mess it up. I mean, the tune's already installed. Turn key to the off position. Download is complete. Restart your engine and press continue. All right, let's see. What do we got? But one thing it didn't ask me, which the other one did for some weird reason, is ask me if there was a, if all my emission stuff was still on, which is kind of weird. It didn't ask me. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how that works, how that plays out. Maybe it'll ask me up here coming up in a little bit. Everything seems to be fine. So, boost is there. So you can see power level stock, trans temp, coolant temp. I don't have my a pyrometer. Um, you can read any of those. And then the needle is boost. So, anyway, I'm just going to use it for now for, uh, so you got tow mode, street, performance, so I leave it stock. So, anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be the video. Uh, I'll look into getting a pyrometer here soon and uh, sticking it in. I am going to make my own EGR delete kit, I think. So I have this, I don't know, 3 8 inch thick steel. So I'll cut it into little pieces um, and then uh, use some old gaskets. So it's not going to be a complete kit, I guess. Um, it will, however, be a delete for this area here. So I'll make a, a block off plate for that and then a block off plate for the front one. And then, uh, 
yeah. Um, but that'll be eventually. I do need to get rid of that as soon as possible. And I'm trying to, and I'm in the market for a, uh, uh, elbow. Intake elbow. Intake horn. Whatever you want to call it. So, uh, I guess I'll have to try to find one of those somewhere. I don't know where. Um, because I live in good old California. Nobody will ship anything to me. And the one I had on my old truck is Banks. And Banks is literally right over that mountain. So, that's Brightwood. And right over the mountain is Azusa. And that's where they're at. So, um, yeah, so I don't know why I can't get one of those if they manufacture them out here. But, whatever, is what it is. Um, and they won't even ship me anything, it's, which is weird, but, oh well. I have my ways of getting stuff. So, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, or don't. I don't really care about this video, what you guys think. I did what I did. Alright guys, um, truck is driving straight now. I did adjust the track bar or the uh, trailing arm. I don't know what you call that bar. You tell me what that bar is called. It's the one that comes from the pitman arm down to the tie rod. So, anyway, you guys let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Later. Comment. Subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. Later.